Welcome to Cougar Compatibility, the show that tests Cougar's connections, and I am not talking about Wi-Fi. We'll be pitting best friend against boyfriend to find out who knows you best. The gloves are off and the Cougar's arrows are flying, as we find out who is the most Cougar compatible. But enough with the explanations, let's introduce the lovely ladies who will be testing their BFFs and BFs in today's lunch game. Hi, I'm Bailey Bronner. I'm a junior, I'm dating Jack Bellhoff, and my best friend is Animo. I'm a very hard person to know, so I wish them luck. Hello, my name is Cameron Garino. I am a senior here at St. Thomas More. I am dating Hayes Chaha, and my best friend is Lily Hines. I think Hayes is going to win. He knows me best, probably. My name is Emily Jofra. I'm dating Eli Benoit, and my best friend is Abigail Gallagher. I really don't know who's going to win because I don't know who knows this, like, weird facts about me. Hi, I'm Lexi Sheremy. My best friend is Audrey Fontenot, and my boyfriend is Jordan Spurlock. My name is Mary Margaret Werther. I'm a senior here. Um, my best friend is Katie Roy, and we've been friends since fifth grade. And my boyfriend is Tyler, and we've been dating for a year. So I'm not going to say Katie has a leg on, up on him, but that's actually exactly what I'm saying. Well, hi, I'm Sydney Ayer. I'm a sophomore. Um, I, I've been friends with my best friend since preschool, we've been in preschool, and then, uh, um, I've been dating Dylan for, like, 15 months, I think. Now let's meet the boyfriends and best friends who will be competing today. Uh, hi, I'm Jack, uh, dating Bailey. I don't really know how long we've been dating, how long we've been dating. October, so, like, three months. <laughs> I'm Anna, and I've been Bailey's best friend probably since the summer. I think she's gonna win, but it's, yeah. My name's Lily Hines, and as you can tell, I'm obviously Cameron's best friend. I have full confidence in this competition because Hayes has no chance against me. Um, I'm Hayes Trommel, the senior. I'm Cameron's boyfriend. Um, we've been dating for a year and a half. And I know a lot about her, more than Lily, that's for sure. So I'm very confident in my abilities in this competition. Um, I'm Emily Jofra's best friend, and I've been friends with her for four years. I'm Eli. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Emily Jofra's boyfriend, and I'm going to beat Abigail. You don't sound very confident. What? I'm very confident, but it's, I'm tricking you thinking I'm not confident, but I am confident. Hi, I'm Jordan, and I'm Lexi's boyfriend, and I think I should win, because I've been dating her for about a year and a, and a month now, and I know her more than anyone else. I'm Audrey, and I'm Lexi's best friend, and I've been her best friend since 8th grade, and I think I'm going to win because I've known her for a lot longer. My name is Tyler Newell, and I've been dating Mary Margaret for a year. Hi, my name is Katie Roy. I've been best friends with Mary Margaret for like seven years, and I'm definitely going to beat Tyler because I'm better. Um, I'm Jules, and I've known Sydney since preschool, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. My name is Dylan. I've been dating Sydney for over a year now, and I think I will beat Jules. Now for our first group, we have Jack, Anna, and Bailey. Let's see how they did. Dancer. Dancer. If I weren't a soccer player, I would be a dancer, definitely, because I definitely have the moves. For what? What does it stand for? Uh, her initials are BBB. What's the middle name? Brianna. Okay. My nickname is Triple B uh, because my name is Bailey Brianna Bronner. What kind of nuggets with a large diet on the name? Um, eight count nuggets. Yeah. So my order from Chick-fil-A would have to be a four-piece meal with um, a Dr. Pepper and bonus if you get the Polynesian Chick-fil-A sauce. A diabetes and I have no idea when she was diagnosed. Uh, type 1 diabetes. I think she was sometime eight years old. Um, so I have diabetes, and I was diagnosed in second grade, but I doubt they know that. Well, would you look at that? Jack won four to two and a half. I guess summers just really are built different. 
Now, let's move on to Cameron, Lily, and Hayes. Birthday is December 9th, 2002. December 9th, 2002. My birthday is December 9th, 2002. Hot Cheetos. Crawfish. She always talks about it. I'm right because she eats it almost every day. And crawfish is seasonal. My favorite food is rice and gravy with mushrooms. What artist? Jeez. I'm gonna get this one wrong. Ed Sheeran went to the same concert together. I'll just put a Louis Capardi or whatever Cavalli. his name is. I don't really know. I think I'm wrong. But also could be very right. My favorite artist is Louis Capaldi because I like sad music. Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. Only Chick-fil-A sauce. She does not have a favorite subject. Her life is dance. <laughs> Math. She's pretty good at it. That's about it. My favorite subject is art. I have confidence that I won. I mean, it, I, have to, I have to win. I definitely won. All right. This is, that was no competition. She doesn't even deserve to be in this competition with me. Well, it looks like Hayes can wear that boyfriend shirt proudly because he won 3-2. to two. Lily, you have some competition. Next up, we have Eli, Emily, and Abigail. Can it be like a dream job? I'm gonna think of it as that this school keep myself. Oh, this is like a dream job for me. Dream so, job? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. You think? Is it supposed to be like that? I'm thinking like... I think, I mean, if she's in school... Uh, I'd say she'd play basketball. Basketball? Yeah. I'd say she'd play soccer. <laughs> she would not play basketball. She wouldn't play soccer, she I'm telling you that. Basketball. She hates soccer. <laughs> but she doesn't like basketball. Her dad coached basketball. She loves basketball. I'm not feeling that answer. Oh. Um, I'd be a basketball player because I used to play, but I quit for dancing. <laughs> I'm confident. It's tacos. Yeah, it is tacos. It's tacos. Basically, everyone knows this about me, but I am obsessed with tacos. Definitely tacos. Who would save it? Yeah, I, I would <gasps> save it. She copied me? I wasn't. I erased it like seven times. I put it. Because she but wouldn't spend it. She I don't, wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think. If she, she put it, would. then she's lying. I would donate half to a charity of my choice and half in savings. For um, either like school or just my future. Should I just guess? <laughs> I think I got this one, but I'm not positive about this one because. <sighs> Warren Daigle. She listens to her all the time. She likes country though. Yeah, she does like country, but she also likes Warren Daigle. She does like Warren Daigle, but I don't. I don't know if she has like a favorite country artist. That's what I said. I thought she just liked country, but yeah. she doesn't have a favorite. Um, I pick Khalid because I like the vibe. It just makes me happy. <laughs> did I spell it? <gasps> yes. Ah, wait. How do you spell it? That is how you spell it. Nice. Lemonade. Lemonade. I usually get lemonade because I don't like soft drinks and water is boring. <laughs> Pink or yellow? Yeah. Pink or yellow? Mm -hmm. well, it depends on the lemonade mood. Lemonade is lemonade. It depends on There's the mood. It's totally different. Okay, well, if you're going out to eat, you could only get yellow. You yeah, some some color. restaurants don't have pink. They really don't. You ask yeah. for lemonade, it's only yellow. But it kind of just depends. Ooh. But if we're talking about soda, I got the soda. Soda, too. Yeah, I got that one, too. Easy. Well, it looks like the boyfriend came out on top again, with Eli winning three and a half to two and a half. And it's looking like Cupid got some batting practice there because that was definitely not a swing and a miss. Next up, we have Audrey, Lexi, and Jordan. Loud smacking. Oh, I put her dad texting her. <laughs> that is 
fantastic. My biggest pet peeve is when I can hear people chewing very loudly. Pediatrician. <laughs> I put starting some kind of organization or some kind of like charity work. If I could be famous for one thing, it would be treating kids in third world countries because I want to be a pediatrician and it's my dream to travel and be able to help them. Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah, I put ranch on any other occasion, but definitely Chick-fil-A sauce and Chick-fil-A. If I could dip my nuggets in one thing, it would be Chick-fil-A sauce. Tau Crunchy Roll. Tau Crunchy Roll. Or LSU Roll from Rock and Soggy. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's actually so aggravating. <laughs> if I could eat one food for the rest of my life, it would be sushi, specifically the Rock and Roll Roll from Rock and Soggy. I think we did pretty good. I feel like we both did like pretty equal, though. Like I wouldn't say one of us won, but I think we did good overall. Yeah, I think we did really good. Um, I think uh, in the end, we both kind of know Lexi a good bit. Um, she is she is a character, so a lot of these questions are very thought provoking. <laughs> I think we both did good. Yep. Well, it looks like we have our first perfect score with Jordan winning five to four. That rhyme. Let's go. I'm. Guess they really are cougar compatible. Next up we have Mary, Margaret, Tyler, and Katie. This one should be fun. Is her birthday is August 8th, 2003. August 8th, 2003. My birthday is August 8th, 2003. Always at the start of school, so everyone should know this, but if y'all want to have a competition for who can give me the best present, I won't complain. I'm surprised she knew her birthday. Just because I'm a grandpa doesn't mean I don't know how old she is. You go to bed at 9.30 every night. <laughs> it's definitely 9.30. Sometimes. <laughs> how many nicknames would you like? Just like all the reasons y'all love me, I also have a lot of nicknames. The main one being Mei Mei, but I also have Moo Moo, Marge, Mare, Eminem, and of course, Werther. Spicy nuggets. Pizza. So it's actually a tie between spaghetti and meatballs and pizza, which both of y'all should know that because I had both of those at least twice last week. So you can definitely tell I'm Italian. Freshman year, she's been painting her nails. Not every week. Um, 
every week. So this one's easy because of how much time I spend on them, but if I was famous for anything, I'd be famous for my nails. Oh, okay. Tyler is not going to get this. <laughs> Why would I not get this? Because we're stupid. He's wrong. I am not wrong. He's wrong. I am not wrong. He is wrong. Nope. He's wrong. I'm right. <laughs> I'm right. Um, a spicy chicken sandwich with no pickles. <laughs> a spicy chicken sandwich with no pickles, fries, and a Coke. She's definitely going with the eight-piece nugget with the large Coke. No, a chicken sandwich all the way. No. <laughs> yes. I've literally been with her. So it's have nuggets. I. More nuggets. times than you. It's nuggets. Sandwich. Nuggets. Sandwich. Nuggets. nuggets. Sandwich. nuggets. So I'm not going to say Katie has a leg up on this, but we did go here last week. But it's definitely a spicy chicken sandwich with no pickle and a Coke. Well, let's just hope that Tyler's not going to be playing soccer with Mary Margaret anytime soon, because he's definitely getting a kick in the shin for that one. Tyler lost 2-4, to four, making him the first boyfriend to lose. Come on, man, I was really rooting for you. I mean, I'm completely unbiased. Next up is Sydney, Dylan, and Jules. Put science. I said math and I included a sample question. <laughs> nice. Um, my favorite subject is math. I said the Lumineers. I also said the Lumineers. Okay, well, she always talks about them and like yeah, suggests her song, their songs to me, so. <laughs> if I could listen to one artist for the rest of my life, it would be Taylor Swift. Bang Bang Shrimp from Bonefish. Um, I put pasta with marinara sauce or just regular pasta. My favorite food is bang bang shrimp at bonefish. Being alone or not being successful in life. I said the dark. My biggest fear is failure. Well, Dylan won two to one, making him the fifth boyfriend to win. Out of six. Come on, Tyler. So as it turns out, your boyfriend can be your best friend. And that's all we have for today. And be sure to get your dice ready for tomorrow's LCR lunch game. And signing off. I'm your host, Hunter Swilly.